This is example 9.3, um, and I'm going to work hard to squeeze it onto this slide. Calculate the lattice energy of MgF2 solid. The enthalpy of subli sublimation of magnesium is plus 146 kilojoules. The first ionization energy of magnesium is 738. The second is um, 1,451. The bond energy of difluorine is 159 per mole. Uh, the electron affinity of fluorine is minus 328. And the delta H of formation of magnesium fluoride is minus 1124. So um, here's what I'm going to do. First thing I'm going to do is write down here in the bottom left-hand corner a line. And this line is going to be MgF2 solid. Delta H, is going to, or, uh, delta H is going to be increasing up this way. And now what I'm going to do is to look at this formula and deduce the formation reaction. Now this, these lines are not to scale. The formation reaction for MgF2 will be magnesium solid. I'm working from the formula here plus F2 gas. And, and the length of that arrow is minus 1124 kilojoules. It's the delta H of formation of magnesium fluoride. By definition, this is the formation equation. Mg solid plus F2 gas goes to MgF2 solid. That is the formation equation, and therefore, the delta H for it is the delta H of formation. So now I have everything I need to start with here. Now there isn't any requirement about what order you do these things in. I usually, just from force of many years of habit, I take the metal first. Um, but you don't have to. But if we just follow the same analogy, remember that over here somewhere, we're going to have magnesium 2 plus plus 2F minus, these are both going to be in the gas phase. And the last term that you have here is delta H lattice. From the gas phase ions to the solid releases delta H of lattice. So now I have to get from magnesium solid to magnesium 2 plus in the gas phase. So the first thing I can do is to sublime the magnesium. Magnesium now in the gas phase plus gas phase plus F2 still in the gas phase. And this arrow is delta H of sublimation of magnesium, which is given up here at plus 146 kilojoules per mole. Okay, so I've got my magnesium in the gas phase. Now, um, if you want to, uh, we can now break the fluorine into two fluorine atoms. So we've got magnesium in the gas phase plus 2F in the gas phase. And that will be the bond energy of F2. And the bond energy of F2 is plus, delta H is plus 159 kilojoules per mole. Okay, everybody comfortable so far? You see what's happening here? All right. Now, uh, let me get the magnesium to magnesium 2 plus. Okay, um, I'm going to go up here, draw a line across there, and magnesium 2 plus in the gas phase plus 2F the gas phase, plus two electrons that I got from ionizing the magnesium. So this is I1 plus I2 for magnesium. I know it has to be I1 plus I2 because I know magnesium's stable ion is 2 plus. Okay, so I look at these numbers. One of them is plus 70, 738 and the other one is plus 1451. Okay, so so far we've been um, 
tapping our energy bank account heavily here, 146, 159, uh, 738, 1451. Now we get some money back, some energy money back, because we let the, the electrons interact with the fluorines. Fluorine has an exothermic electron affinity, and there's going to be two of them. Students sometimes miss this. This is two times the electron affinity of fluorine atom. And that's given over here at negative 238. So this is 2, 3, uh, I'm sorry. This is negative 328. So 2 times negative 328. OK. Now I've taken up the whole slide at this point. Uh, but the delta H of lattice is going to be, and I'll see if I can, where can I put it in here? OK. So delta H of formation is equal to plus 146 plus 159 plus 738 plus 1451 minus 2 times 328. Uh, I'm sorry, that's plus minus 328. Remember, uh, we have two kinds of signs in this. We have the signs of the numbers. These are signed numbers, and this one is a negative one. So then the next one is plus delta H of lattice. Sorry, this is. So delta H of formation, this thing here, the direct, is equal to the sum of this one, and this one, and these two, and these two, and that one. So we plug in 1124 for this, negative, because it's exothermic, kilojoules per mole. And then we solve for delta H of lattice. And the delta H of lattice turns out to be negative 2962 kilojoules per every mole. OK? Notice MgF2 has, what, three and a half times as exothermic a lattice energy as NaCl. 